Don't miss your first look at the newest good guy ships for Star Wars X-Wing. I can bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear back again with you today, checking out the newest ships from Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures. This is Wave 12. We got the new Rebel Phantom 2 and the Resistance Bomber expansion packs. And actually, I don't really know too much about this Resistance Bomber, unfortunately, because it's so new. We haven't even seen a preview up on FFG site yet that I could find. I don't know. Maybe I missed it, <laughs> but we know a lot about the Phantom 2. So I say we start there and take a closer look at this little guy. So here's a closer look at the miniature itself. Of course, he's come pre-painted on its stand. It's a small stand. And we all know that the Phantom is a new way for you to play with the Rebels characters in your games, which is pretty neat. Of course, the kit itself or the expansion set comes with 13 cards, 14 tokens, maneuver dial, the ship, the pegs, partridge in a pair of tree. Now, there's going to be two title upgrades in here and four crew members that allow you to, you know, Kind of expand on that whole hey this goes with the ghost kind of type deal like i said overall you're going to get about 13 cards to go in here of course some upgrades or some updates and stuff to how things work you know the new coordinate mechanic and docking it with the ghost your auxiliary firing art because you can shoot out the back of the ship once it's docked with the ghost uh your your pilots your upgrade or your pilots your t your uh title cards two of those and then your normal pilot cards up here. So let's take a look real quick at the mechanics of the ship itself, which you can see right here. It's got a very robust maneuvering. Unfortunately, as far as a fighter goes, it's kind of average, well, below average actually, with two attack, two defend, a uh, modest hull, one shield, but I think its strength is definitely gonna lie in its uh, pilot's ability to do cool stuff. Like you can get Fen up to uh, pilot skill nine if you want. And then you've got your normal stuff here and Zeb right there at a pilot skill of three. Now, pilot wise, you can see here you've got the AP5 at a pilot skill of one, Zeb at three, Ezra at five, and Fen at nine, with some really interesting abilities that kind of benefit that whole coordinate ability. Of course, coordinate says right here that ships with a coordinate icon can choose another friendly ship at range one to two to perform. A coordinate action the chosen ship may immediately perform one free action so while these ships in and of themselves are low points they synergize well with the rest of your fleet so that's what's what's really cool and then additional ones have additional abilities if you are stressed you may change up to two of your focus results to evade ro results over here you can do some really cool stuff if an enemy ship is inside your firing arc at range one of three becomes active ship during a combat phase and you are not stressed you may receive one stress if you do that ship cannot spend tokens to modify its dice when attacking this round so you know no popping off their focus or anything like that it is pilot skill nine here, so of course he is going to activate first. So you're going to take the stress. You're going to have to, you know, get rid of it a different way. Which there are some upgrade cards to kind of eat stress in here. But then there's also, you know, performing maneuvers and such that you would come to uh, rely on to get rid of your stress in this game. Here you can see the ghost and the uh, the new ghost title, or excuse me, the ghost title. Phantom 2 upgrade here, which allows you to get a free coordinate action with your ghost. That's pretty neat. Flight assist axe throw mech chopper. Discard one equipped upgrade card to cover one shield, which these are upgrade cards. He is an upgrade card, so you could do that. Maul seems pretty good at, at first glance right here. After performing an attack that hits, you may re remove one of your stress tokens. What? That seems good. Uh, when attacking, if you're not stressed, you may re remove any number of stress tokens to reroll that many attack dice. Do the, do the math on that. That seems pretty good. It's just who do you put them on to get the benefit of that ability right there. Of course, they are unique. Chopper's unique. Ghost is unique. Phantom 2 is unique. And Courier Droid is limited. You cannot take multiples of him uh, at all, actually. Not even on the same ship. Boom, boom, boom. So that's not too bad either. He's kind of got that thing where you can uh, flip your pilot skill values kind of depending on what you want to do there. Kind of like some of those double-sided cards we saw in previous expansions. Next up is the Resistance Bomber. This thing is huge. <laughs> and it comes, of course, on a large stand as well. Now this kit or this expansion kit 
Comes with 18 cards, 21 tokens, and maneuver dial. The ship itself with all the bases, pegs, dials, you know, little hinge thingies for your command dial that you need uh, to play with. I haven't seen a movie yet, obviously, because it's not even out till December, so I don't really know much about the ship. And to be honest, I hadn't seen any previews on the ship, so we're going to figure this one out together. I was glancing through uh, the reference material. Apparently, you can launch bombs now. That's a new thing. Uh, and uh, it's got some uh, it's got some interesting looking things in here, but again, don't know too much about it, so I can't speak conversationally on it too much right now. Now, this is a $39.99 expansion from FFG here for Wave 12, of course. And then there were cards. Like I said, don't know too much about this, just kind of been bebopping through it. Of course, it's gonna have a ton of upgrades here. We'll go over the maneuvers at the very least, lots of ordnance upgrade tokens. Apparently there's uh, a way for you to get three uh, uses out of each one of your pieces of ordnance in here that I saw that looked pretty neat uh, the new rattled condition card It looks like when you suffer damage or critical damage from a bomb you suffer one additional critical damage and remove this card You can try to get a uh, Remove this by rolling an attack die as an action on a focus or an explosion You may or one damage, you may remove this card. And we'll talk about that stuff in here in a minute. Let's look at the pamphlet that comes with it. Of course, all the components. Then it goes into some of the stuff that you probably already know, things like ion tokens, large ships, overlapping, bombs, dropping a bomb. We all know how that works. Now, what we haven't heard, at least that I hadn't heard, was launching a bomb token. This is a new one. Uh, from the front guides of your ship, okay? So I guess sometimes there's things that allow you to do that. I guess we did see it with one of the ties, but it was a kind of a conditional type thing that you might, you would have to have the pilot to do it, but uh, it just gives you the rundown here, how to detonate bombs, condition cards, spent dice results, turret primary weapon. Looks like there's a turret on here as well. And the all stop, the stationary maneuver, which it can stop on a dime as well. Big ship, that's a, that's a great boon. There's the maneuvers that it can perform. It can actually, Wow, look at that. That is, this is an incredibly maneuverable ship, believe it or not. It doesn't have a lot of top end speed, but at the lower speeds right here, it definitely can turn. And it's got, it, you know, uh, four green at that kind of size and speed. Doesn't seem too bad. That's a, that's a good trade off there. Let's take a look at the pilots. So we've got four pilot cards right here. Of course, you can see they go from pilot skill one up to seven with lots of upgrade slots. Uh, double bombs, tech, hadn't seen tech in a while. When attacking, if your defender is inside your fire arc, you may spend one damage or one crit to assign the rattled condition card. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's a good way to get that on people there. And I'll just leave this up and let you guys kind of look at it, figure out the combos on your own, because like I said, I am just coming on board with this ship. Don't know too much about it myself. There is a turret 360 as well as the primary firing arc on um, both of these so that's good to see upgrade card wise let's take a look there are multiples in here so i assume with the trajectory simulator oh there it is you may launch bombs using the five forward template instead of dropping them what oh dang you can put this on any ship that's neat well that's a new take on ordnance or i guess let's zoom in a little bit on that that is definitely a fresh take on things here so much has been going down with the ordinance ordinance silos three ordinance tokens for your upgrades and then it comes with a slew of bombs that we've already seen so we'll just slide those off advanced optics can i have more than one focus token during the end phase do not remove unused focus so it can stack that's pretty cool what else do we got in here we got some tech targeting synchronizer defective Play team is a modification uh, title, and then there's the rattled card. Like I said, don't know too much about these. Unfortunately, I can't comment conversationally on them, unfortunately. So feel free to pause the video and uh, I don't know, leave some leave some thoughts in the comments field down there. Well, that's it for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed our first look at the Resistance Bomber and the new Phantom 2 expansion pack for Wave 12 of X-Wing Miniatures coming out here soon, fourth quarter of 2017, I would imagine. Now, if you like these kind of unboxings 
and faux kind of tactics breakdowns on the new Star Wars ships. Make sure you check out our playlist here on this channel, of course. Drop us a subscribe by hitting that little bell icon in the bottom right hand corner. We would certainly appreciate you can be the very first to like and comment on all our posts here on the channel.